In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create distribution groups and how to create places. So distribution groups and places help your users find the conference room that they're looking for. So oftentimes they'll browse for a room and you'll just see this list and they'll have no idea which room does what and why certain rooms, uh, why, why they should pick one room over another. So distribution groups are exchange based and they will help put things into locations and then places will help it become a little more accurate where you can filter on certain features of a given room. So I'll show how to create the distribution groups and places. I started off by connecting with Exchange Online, which is nothing too great. We should have seen that in previous videos. Now I'm going to create a variable, trmbx, that has the name of the conference room we created in previous videos. So now I'm going to create a new distribution group, and this is the location of where these teams' rooms are located. So the Bellevue Building 1 conference rooms, and notice the room list parameter at the end which lets Exchange know that this isn't exactly a traditional distribution group. The next thing to do is to add a member to this distribution group, and we do that with the add distribution group member commandlet. That distribution group has been created. Now we're gonna add the distribution group member to Bellevue Building 1, and this is going to be our Teams Rooms mailbox, which is defined up here to be CF Bonanza. So we'll add that in. And then just for fun, I'm gonna add two more conference rooms in that have already been created. So we're gonna add Adams and Rainier to this distribution group. So now I'm gonna create places, and places give additional attributes to the rooms. So here's the first one I'm gonna run. I'm gonna set place for our mailbox, and then is wheelchair accessible dollar sign true? This lets people who have accessibility needs know that this room is good for them. We set a capacity and then we say there is a display in the room. I'm gonna do that also for one of the other rooms, but I'm gonna use some different attributes here. So here is the other conference room, Adams. I'm gonna say this is not wheelchair accessible and has a capacity of only six. So these will end up being values we can filter on in Outlook on the web. 